Hey everybody, welcome back to Dog Place. Pokemon Uranium version. And also welcome back to Pokemon... Uh, to <laughs> Dog takes a sip of his water. Daily reminder, you know. A okay, quick saving here, it seems. Howdy trainer, is this your first gym challenge? You must be excited. I'm called the gym guy. Here to deliver tips to aspiring trainers looking to conquer the tender league. Mary is a normal type expert. Normal types aren't super effective on any other type, but they have very few weaknesses. Fighting types like Mankey are strong here, and steel types like Arkings and Baru are a good choice as well because they resist their attacks. Otherwise, an all-out attack from your most powerful Pokémon will probably do the trick. Good luck! I'll be rooting for you. And take this with my regards. Yeah, this is why I talk to this guy. Got some fresh water here. Ah, you think you have what it takes to beat Maria? Allow me to be the judge of that. Okay, yeah, bring it on, boy. I'm going to slap you so hard you go to the Shadow Realm. Actually, I didn't want to say Shadow Realm, I did want to say Distortion World, like Eratina's world, but I couldn't remember the word. A good start, Bob. Not very effective here. Ah, let's just go full out here, Vine Whip. Oop. It's an out and oh yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Now let's not change. Oh, it's using quick attack. I thought maybe it would use gust or something. Yeah, of course it evaded this attack. Let's go for a scratch. Oh, I haven't actually seen this out in the wild yet, so maybe it's on Route 2 or something? Somebody said there was an out nest somewhere. If I sound weirdly interrupted when talking, then it's because I'm taking a sip of water. My throat is kind of dry, and I, this is the fourth episode I'm recording today. Oh yeah, and the other day, I actually had a super sore throat. I went out with some friends, and like to celebrate that we passed the final exams and. Uh, Chinese. <laughs> but you know, the funny was actually how I got my sore throat because it's not from yelling or something. We were going to the arcade and me and my friend from Mexico like were doing the we were using the dancing machine if you know what I mean. Like it plays a song and you'll have to like tap on the dance mat. And somehow I managed to I get a sore throat from dancing. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing, but when I like when I talk to the other guys afterwards they're like what happened to your voice? I'm like, I don't know, it's just broken, give it a day or two. That's probably one of the weirdest things that ever happened to me. And in Germany we don't really have these dancing machines as far as I know. So my friend who's like from close to that like very close to Mexico City said oh he danced on this a lot and like he was dancing on difficulty 11 and I already had my problems with difficulty 3 on some songs so that was great especially <laughs> since another friend recorded a video and just looked like a total idiot okay Ted what you can do this Want to evolve your Tedward? Come on, struggle boy! Oh, it's increasing its special defense. I actually wasn't even paying attention to it. Let's see how much a tackle does instead. Struggle bug is a special move, of course. 
I like that it shows the typing first and then when you switch on it because you know the type then it shows you that it's physical or special. It's weird that it's spamming charge and not complaining. It does about the same maybe. Oop. Come on Tedward. Alright, yeah, you can charge. Chin Monk. I wonder how they came up with the name for this Pokemon. Especially now since this one uh, girl earlier confirmed that the Y in Chin Monk is silent. Oh, Terra's trying to learn Fairy Wind. That seems interesting. <laughs> oh look, they also have like a dumb thing like this one. Um, if you got tackle string shot struggle with fairy wind. The user stirs up a fairy wind and strikes a target with it. Okay, let, let's get rid of string shot, I think. Fairy types is something I still haven't really gotten used to yet. Maybe I'm kind of old-fashioned in that regard. Hmm, this one has potential. You know what else this one has? Enough time to run back to the Pokemon Center. Oh yeah, you can see now it's getting a bit, little bit late here. Now it's like 5.30 p.m. here. Oh, there's the Pokemon Center. So it's actually reflected in the game, that's nice. I don't even remember how long berries need to grow in the main series Pokemon games. But since this one seems to be utilizing the PC's clock, you maybe I should also plant some berries before I end the recording session or something and then we can start off by picking berries maybe. For a second there I was like, what? Where's the gym? <laughs> this is how bad my sense of direction sometimes. I like to go to Tedward. Maybe I will just give Tedward an orange berry as well. It can heal itself if needed. Maria may be the first gym leader but she is to be the champion. You're still light years away from defeating her. Oh, you know what this means, boys. He doesn't know what a light year is. <laughs> light years measure distance, not time. Okay, burp. And what you got here? Each seat, boys. Oh yeah, I can see what they mean by dazzling appearance now, when looking at this uh, burp. Its feathers are kind of like a smile, I don't know why it hasn't occurred to me before. Maybe because I'm an idiot? wonder what the shiny versions of some of these Pokémon look like. Man, if we would be able to catch a shiny in this one, I would be really happy. And it would also be the first shiny card Except the red Gyarados. I always had uh, I had other shinies, but they were never caught by myself, and some of them were probably not legit, like some GTS shinies or something. My best friend, the one who actually always used to name his character Fio, like the rival in this game. Uh, caught his first shiny Pokemon in Gen 2 actually was a shiny uh, Spiro, and I thought the Spiro was like really cool and then he was like yeah I can give it to you and I don't even know why he gave it to me. It was so special and then later on I made it a Fero of course and I uh, found out, no I think he got one and then another friend told me, like a way older friend told me oh you I can clone this for you and he showed me the clone trick so we cloned the 
the spear and I gave one to him and then I had a shiny spear and a sp shiny fear and I was so happy. <laughs> uh. I don't even know how to pronounce this Pokemon's name. It's like, it sounds super Chinese in my head. It's like Philan. Is it Philan? Philan? Okay, Dion, I don't like this. So, Bob, you're up. God damn it. Now it's cat versus cat here. I'll at leech I'll at leech seat you, I'll at least leech seat you. And then maybe I will sit through the yawning actions here. The best battle of all time. So this is also totally a normal type, right? Man, I really like the designs of these sprites. I wonder whether the people who worked on this game will do other games in the future. I hope they will I really, really enjoy this game so far. Like the maps are good, dialogue fits for a Pokemon game. I like the designs, the movesets, the music. Please make like an RPG for mobile or something, guys. You don't even have to make it free to play, I will just buy it when I see it's by you. I have to look up whether their team has an official name or whether it's just like some person that got together for fun. Light years measure distance, not time. Exactly! <laughs> My astronomy teacher would be so angry! Wait. Hey Bob, if you Orenberry, good. Okay, Maria. Maria is also the name of my older sister. It's kind of funny. Hi again. So, I don't think we we were ever properly introduced. What's your name? Doc. I like it. Welcome to the now top city Pokemon gym. It's weird that she does a little wave at the end of a sentence, I don't know how to say this. She says it in a like, upbeat, flirty voice or something. Hey Maria, normal type specialist. But you know that already, of course. Most folks know me as Maria, champion of Tender. Those days of my life are over though. How old is she if she says those days? And she says I'm retired. Now oh, I supervise young trainers like you on their way to greatness. It's a long difficult battle all the way up to champion. Have you got what it takes? Your very first test in the Tender League begins now! Another cool theme. Yeah, I can see she's a normal type gym, gym leader. Her design is like super basic. Uh, basic. Come on, Leech Seat. God damn it! Why is this thing so good at avoiding these leech seeds? Okay, good job, Bob. Now we can do some damage. They say this region has more than 180 Pokémon. I wonder how much of these are unique Pokémon, like new Pokemon I should say. And how many legendaries there are and what legendaries are like. Man, I want to know everything. I don't know why this game excites me more than Sun and Moon. Maybe because... Yeah, I think it's because with Sun and Moon they, you know, they reveal like the Pokemon beforehand. But with this one it's just like, yeah. You just jump in and you don't know any of the Pokemon. I actually prefer this one. I think the last time I didn't know every Pokemon before it was released was like Gen 4 or something. I can't remember the release of Gold and Silver and I also can't remember the release of Emerald, Ruby and Sapphire. The 
the reason I can't remember the release of uh, Ruby and Sapphire specifically is I never had a Game Boy Advance. Or actually, I had a Game Boy Advance, but I didn't. I got it like years after they were released. So my first Gen 3 game was the Ruby version, but actually, I didn't get it from. I didn't buy it or I didn't get it from my parents. I actually traded it for Yu Gi Oh cards in my high school. It's funny because there were a lot of people caring about Yu Gi Oh in my high school, and then later, like approaching senior high school, people didn't care about Yu Gi Oh at, more, at all anymore, and they. At some point I got back into it and I asked them, hey, do you still have your cards? And some people said, yeah, we can still have a duel or something and it was cool. And some people even said, yeah, I still have them, but I really don't use them anymore. Do you want to do you want to have them? And one guy even said like, okay, I'll give them to you if you give me a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I think I still have these guys' decks at home. You just yawn at me again. Go struggle back. Yeah, totally did. God damn it. I feel like the rival battle and the first trainer battle so far took more out of me than this gym leader. But I think it's easier to just overwhelm the player with a Pokemon game and the levels than like uh, like very very subtly easing them in. That's the problem a lot of ROM hacks have that you know they try to do something but the enemy Pokemon or the opponent's Pokemon, I should say, are like too high level, or they give you starters that evolve at level 30 or something. Like in one Pokemon hack I tried playing, they gave me a Riolu as starter, and they made it so Riolu evolves at level 40. And I'm like, yeah, cool. Like my starter is this thing. I might as well switch out, you know. I don't want to keep battling with a Riolu until level 40. Yeah, let's see. A little absorb here. Yeah, Leech Seed really is a good way to deal with this cat. I hate Yawn. If you lunch, okay. Uh, let's stay in. Another Intimidate here. You have a great future ahead, but what about now? Now I'm going to use the leech seed once I wake up. Which is not right now. Or maybe this thing doesn't know uh, yawn, this would be nice. <laughs> Yep, Orenberry kicking in. Yeah, good job, Bob. Alright, lead sheet is on. Let's try a vine whip. Oh no, it knows you on. God dang. <laughs> I hate you. At least it rains 4 HP, that's not that bad actually. It's also a nice remix of a different theme here in the background. John, you can do it, Bob. Who's the better cat here? My bet is on the green one. I 
I think now you can see why they gave me the defensive Pokemon. <laughs> they actually really accurately judged my playstyle, didn't they? I don't know why my playstyle is like this. No, it wasn't always like this. Maybe I've been tainted by competitive battling or something. I really like to use hazards and things like that now. Before I was just like brute forcing everything pretty much. Oh look, a yawn. Get smacked. I hope later gym leaders have like some advanced tactics or something. Oh, Metal Claw, cool. Yes, please. Yeah, let's get rid of Growl, uh, growl here. <laughs> of Growl. There, that's the fighting spirit I wanted to see. It is serving of this normal bitch. Congrats! I gotta say, the spirit you showed in battle, they remind me of when I was just starting out. Try and hold on to that determination, I'm sure it'll take you far. Also take this TM too. Oh dang, it's one of my favorite TMs actually. I think I talked about this in the Pokemon Blue uh, playthrough. As you travel together with your Pokemon, the bond between you will grow stronger. The deeper your friendship, the more powerful the return is in battle. TMs are infinite use, so feel free to teach it as many Pokemon as you like. Nearly all of them can learn this one. It's almost the same dialogue as the other woman who gave us a TM. I don't know why, but they had the impression that Maria was a young gym leader. Like they say, like oh, you were the you were like the champion, and it rose like to her head or something, and she kind of sleeps. Seems like a young person, but in reality, she's not really a young person. Also makes the creep a bit, little bit less creepy because she's like a real grown-up and not like a 16-year-old girl he's preying on or something. But it doesn't make it okay, of course. Okay, let's just get rid of Scratch and go for a return here. Edward, also go for a return. Yeah, I think we will just get rid of Tackle here too. We tell him it will be worth it. Yeah, I remember my first Feraligator with Fritter. I don't think I actually chose Feraligator or Totodile because I... Um, because I liked it the best. I still, I, I still think I like it the best nowadays, but... Actually, when I got the Gold version, my... Rather tested it first to confirm for my parents that it actually works. And he chose Totodile and when I started it I saw that it was still safe that he said, oh yeah, I tested it. And I think back then maybe there was no no way of deleting your save data, so he saved. And then there was just like his character and I thought, hey this Pokemon is pretty cool, I also want this one. And I also have to say I when I was young, I really used to idolize my older brother. I think a lot of, like, especially younger boys are like this. Okay, now let's proceed to Route 2, I think. Maybe we can put Tedward in first place again. But that gym wasn't really too hard. I expected it to be way harder, actually. Oh, it's a rival. Yeah, you know. It was exactly as the uh, one person you foreshadowed, it's like, you never know when you arrive at battles, it could be after the gym battle. Uh, I thought I ran into you, uh, sorry, he's a small boy. <clears throat> yeah, I thought I ran into you, still feeling all high and mighty just cause you got the strongest starter. Bet you tried to beat the gym leader and she crushed you. What, you won? No way! I supposed to beat the first, it isn't fair. Well, it doesn't matter, because when I beat you, it will prove that I'm stronger than both you and the gym leader. Don't expect to win just because your starts got the advantage. Okay, yeah, let's go, boy. It's a Baru. It's a seal type, as somebody mentioned. And... Um, yeah, that's not very good. Yeah, I think we could just go to Bob here. 
for some brute force and maybe leech seed. Level 10 is okay, I suppose. Oh yeah, no harden, of course. God dang. Get leech seeded. I like that uh, Bob got Metal Claw. It also has a chance of raising your attack power. I mean, it's not a really great move, but I still really like that move. But should we go for Vine Whip or Metal Claw? I think both are not very effective. Let's see here. Oh no, okay, it's probably like... Steel Rock or something there. Yeah, so we should... If it's Steel Rock, then this should also be neutral, right? Oh yeah, and it's another critical, that's nice. Bell attacks. Uh, switch your Pokémon? Yep, let's just go to... Tedward again. I don't know why, but this Pokemon kind of reminds me of Raikou. Oh, we can use a struggle bug maybe? Seems like a special Pokemon. Another critical hit. Don't know what's up with the critical hits right now. Come on, you can do it. Man, this... that's a lot of damage. And yeah, eat that berry, son. Take him out. Oh, it also knows tackle. God damn. It's 5 damage from the tackle. Too bad it's actually faster than us. Charm! <laughs> See how much this water gun does? Also 5. Okay, this one does 3 now. So we can live through the next attack, maybe? Come on, Tedward, you can do this! Oh, it used Defense Curl, that's interesting. Yes, Tedward, he's done it. Well deserved level 9 there. No, not even my new Pokémon could help me win. I mean, it's not exactly good against my Pokémon, you know. No fair, they're picking on me like that, you're a meanie. Well, whatever. <laughs> The professor told me to give you this, just take it, okay? It's HM06, it's Hulk Smash! I'm gonna go challenge the gym, next time we battle I'll beat you. Don't think you'll get lucky. Oh, there's a letter attached to the TM. Dear dog, fear was lingering around town after you left and I realized I want to give this to both of you. It's an HM or hidden machine that contains a move which can be learned by Pokemon, teach it to one of yours and it will be able to smash apart cracked rocks. Actually I was wondering if you could come back to Moketown after you get your first batch. I want to see how your Pokemon have grown. Professor Bamboo. Oh, they probably make a circle around Dark Souls style or something. Now that we have rock smash we also don't need to go through this obnoxious cave anymore if we don't want to. Use a slug to fall with a shattering punch, it can also smash cracked boulders. Bob can learn this. Oh, Grouset can learn this. Congratulations. Don't really want to use it on Bob. How are we health wise? Headwood is a bit beat up here. Is this a bird catcher? Hello. Fly to the sky, my beautiful bird Pokemon. Totally is a bird catcher. 
Okay, Brent. Show me that perp. Still not very good to use Ted with you. Man, I'm. it's such a good design decision that they gave uh, uh, Orings. No, Orkings. Orkings, this steel typing that doesn't get obliterated by things like this. Okay, let's try return here. See how much it does. Yeah, that's like, what, a little bit over a quarter or something? Is it a third? Oh, Metal Claw actually does way more. Okay, let's go for Metal Claw. <laughs> Guess you don't like me that much yet, Bob. We'll get better soon, I think. And there's an Alpen. Just keep Meowly in here. Go for another Metal Claw. I wonder whether Tadwood will become a fairy type because it learned fairy wind and it's also, you know, kind of pink. And I wonder what it will look like. My estimate is it will probably also go for a cocoon stage and then into like a kind of chrysalis or I mean like butterfly or whatever stage. If I had to guess. I can tell you have a soaring spirit. Want to trade Pokepot numbers? I mean, alright. Thank you, Brent. If I climb this hill 1000 times, my glutes will be hard as steel. You will get dead ass. Oh, I like Beryl's uh, try, actually. I didn't notice before. Also not an ideal matchup here. Let's go, Bob. Not very effective. Oh yeah, it's just Vine Ripple, but I don't know what I was thinking there. Damn. The headbutt hurts, man. And you can do this, Bob. Oh no, Bob couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, he can still do it. Come on, Bob! Got him. Okay, Chuck. Not strong enough! Bye! I was like, what? I clicked like on that rock and it started a cutscene. A hard trainer, are you trying to go to Kefla Town? Looks like the path was blocked by another landslide. We get plenty of those around here. Probably not. I'm a Pokemon Ranger, sworn to protect the people and Pokemon of the region. My special capture style emits a harmless wave of energy that draws wild Pokemon close. Now watch, train and learn. Yeah, through the style, I managed to convey my goodwill to these wild Pokemon, forming a temporary bond between us. Now, if I ask them to help, they will assist me. Manky, Beru, can you help me clear out this roadblock? Thank you for your help. That's convenient, man. This is how we rangers work in harmony with the environment. We bury the innate powers of wild Pokemon to do good and set them free when we're done. We're different from tra trainers in that way. Be sure to respect nature and remember, you can always call on a ranger when you're in trouble. Always call that. 
Oh, it's TM78, Captivate. Is this the one that's like Swagger but with special attack? If the... If it is the opposite gender of the user, the foe is charmed into sharply lowering its special attack set. Oh, it's like this. It's not really what I'm looking for. What does it say here? In the event of a rock block, now to stitch you may be waged through, pas through Passage Cave. Oh yeah, I thought so. Cool. You know, we're back in Kefla Town. I see there's the cave up there. Whoops. Escape is the equivalent of B and of like start, that's why I just clicked this. Oh, okay, there's just like the boulders you can move with strength here, probably confuses with the landslide they just cleared there. So do I have to go back through the forest? can clear this out. Smash! Alright, a repel. Do not say no to that one. Okay, just making sure Ted was still in the first place here. Let me just try to smash another rock. I want to see whether there's an encounter with Pokemon there. Maybe this is how you get... Uh, Okay, show me what you got, man. Get out of my way! <laughs> so, it's so aggressive, man. Suddenly, it's like da da da. Hey, Mankey. Get ready to get smacked by Tedwood. A good boy. I got the charm, and now we will use Fairy Wind. Oh, I don't like this. Yep. All right, that was obnoxious. Hit five times. This really didn't do as much as I thought it would do, but dang it, that would. Okay, that's better. Do it, that would. Kill him. Consume his soul. God damn you, Mankey. These critical hits. Tedwood still can't really hold his own. That is a dang shame. Go, Bob. Let's try to just destroy this with return. Oh, god dang it. No. Bye. And there's autonomy. And let's just keep Bob in here. Metal claw. Seems good. I wonder what the fire starter's ability is actually. Because we got battle armor, the water starter got uh, static. <laughs> Tactical espionage action. A super potion, alrighty. We 
try my best to not have to use them. Rock smash. But the Pokemon are the best. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Oh, magic orb, <laughs> alright. Uh, please let me revise that statement. This guy has two Pokemon. Can you do this, Tedward, with 3 HP? He's using Splash. Man, that is way less than I thought it would do. Try a struggle, Bucky. Just watch this thing knowing flail or something like that, and as soon as I get it down to critical HP, it's like flail. Okay, yep, just keep splashing. At least then Edward can do something <laughs> on his own with 3 HP. 102 XP. It seems okay actually for level 12 Magic Up. And now there's a 4 talk. Um, let me just do the old switcheroo like so. We can still earn some EXP here. Hello, friend. Oh, it's a poison sting. Too bad. Get whipped. <laughs> I just hit that enter button like so hard, it's like a self-destruct button. I really slammed that enter button when I said get whipped. Yeah, I also wonder when Bob evolves actually. I mean, it has to be soon, right? Already level 14. There are other types are good as well. Yeah, especially grass types. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 please. I'm actually clapping my hands in a silent manner. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> it's a cobblefly. Alrighty. I need some water Pokemon. Give me up on Pokepot if you want to battle again. Let's take a look at the Cobblefly. Uh, Edward. Still Bug Fairy. Still Swarm. Didn't change too much. Still one attack and one special attack. IV. I wish they wouldn't show IV so I can just ignore it. <laughs> uh, Alright. I think this is a good point. To say thank you very much for watching, guys. Didn't expect Hellboy to evolve there for some reason. It's level 10 now, right? Yeah. So, there wasn't a cocoon stage. <laughs> okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.